The Orioles 16 and 19 as they face Marcus Stroman, a guy they've seen plenty of before. Yeah, and he's faced the Orioles plenty times before, as you've seen the Toyota numbers this season. Since 2017, he's three and two with a 1.06 ERA against the O's. A leadoff single, and it'll bring up Austin Hayes, the right fielder. Two strike pitch bounced off the glove of VR into left field. Hustling into third, Cedric Mullins, and the Orioles have him on the corner with nobody down. I think that would probably be the reason. Little dribbler, Stroman off the mat, has a play at the plate, and now McCann has Mullins in a rundown. And makes the toss to VR. They make the tag for the out, and the runners are at first and second. Well handled by both Stroman and McCann to make sure the other runners couldn't move up. And that's the first out of the night. Two men away. Orioles now with runners at first and second and Freddie Galvis the shortstop and former Philadelphia Philly will be the batter 1 and 0 the count now the pitch swinging a ground ball to first nice pick by Alonzo with his shoe tops behind the bag takes it there himself side retired good job by Marcus Stroman and one of the great starts in Major League history from John Means 27 batters faced in a no hitter the only person who reached Sam Haggerty on a drop third strike it was the only no hitter of its kind in Major League history and John Means will try to chase Johnny Vandermeer tonight As Jeff McNeil steps in lefty against lefty they just the, the bench of the Orioles just told that they want Lindor in the batting circle in the warm up circle, he said he's too close to the batter, and Lindor's yelling at them now. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, they are. That's the first time I've seen that. Guys stand there all the time, and Keith always moans about it, but nobody ever does anything. That's lined in the left center field. There'll be no no hitter tonight for John Means. And now, with two away, Pete Alonso will be the batter. And delivers, and this ball is hit in the air, center field. Mullins jogs in. Looks skyward, makes the catch. And so Alonso's homerless drought continues and means lousy hit, but puts a zero on the scoreboard. Jeff McNeil, the batter now against the lefty, means. And that's up the middle, and McNeil's got the Mets' second hit. Mullins quickly over to track it down. McNeil's going to test him, and he's going to be out by a million miles. That is a terrible decision by McNeil. Did he hurt himself halfway there because he, he pulled up like he hurt a hammy or something? As soon as he made the turn and tried to turn it on, yeah, something happened there, Gary. Well, Jeff McNeil is leaving the game after appearing to hurt himself, trying to stretch a single into a double. Jose Peraza has replaced him at second base. Chops this one down to third. VR comes in to get it. Three ground ball outs for Stroman in that fourth inning. That's what the doctor ordered. And there's one away as Conforto will back. Breaking ball hit hard. Austin Hayes on the move with a nice running catch. Two down. He breaks his bat and he rolls it through the infield. Well, Means got that ball to the inside corner, but Pete strong enough to fight it off and get it through the vacant space in the infield for a two out hit. So back to back two out hits by Alonzo and Pilar, and the Mets have runners at the corners. And now Jonathan VR will try and get him in with two out. The shake of the glove and means delivers. Pop up second base. Rio Ruiz handles that, and the Mets are down in the fourth. They strand two. And John Means uh, again has been good at getting ahead, which he's been doing all year, and has been able to put some quick innings together. He'll start off with McCann in the last of the fifth. One two on the way. Mm -hmm. That's strike three. James McCann down looking first out here in the Mets fifth. And Almora is coming up to the plate. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Almora expanded. Means got him on the changeup. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Means. Had only one K through four. Has two to start the fifth. Marcus Stroman threw 72 pitches in the first five innings. John Means threw only 59. Trey Mancini up to the third time. Hit into a fielder's choice and struck out. On the outside corner, and Mancini's caught looking at a fastball. Five strikeouts now for Marcus. But a break for the Mets. Now they've got runners at the corners, one out. They've got that runner on third, 90 feet away, the first run of the game. And Pete Alonso coming up. One strike to the Mets cleanup hitter. Popped up. Mancini calls, makes the catch. Big out there. 
Needs, needs only one more out to keep this a nothing nothing game. Pilar does have a single in two times up. Fly ball, center field. Mullins calling. He's there, makes the catch. And John Mean pitches out of a sticky situation. Severino's going to be walked intentionally to force Brandon Hyde's hand. Mm. You've got John Means who's thrown 15 straight scoreless innings and has only thrown 74 pitches tonight, and they're going to call him back and bat for him with a chance to take the lead. And six strong innings after a no hitter by John Means. That's going to be all for Stroman. Luis Rojas is coming out, so Whoa. both managers pulling their starters at the same time here in the seventh. Stroman will take his exit, and Luke will come on to replace him. He does not leave it happily. But when the, the Mets made the pitching change, he counters with a right hand bat in Pat Valleca. First pitch swinging fly ball, deep right field. That's going to get it in. Conforto makes a good catch on the track. Galvis comes in to score, and Valleca jumps on the first pitch. John Means smiling. Orioles ahead, 1 0. Austin Hayes flies one to center, well hit, back goes Almora, warning track, and he made the catch, then he dropped it as he smacked the wall face first. He's hurt. Hayes is on his way to third, and he's in standing with a triple, and now the concern for Albert Almora, who hit that padding on the center field fence as hard as you can hit it face first. He had the ball in his glove when he hit the ball, came out, and he is rocked. Well, spinal or neck injury, but... Almora up on his feet, so clearly there's no concern about that. But obviously, concussion then is the next most important thing to check for. Guys, one positive sign is as Albert Almora was walking off the field, he motioned to the fans and said, "I'm all right. I'm all right." So, you know, positive sign for sure as, as he was walking the field off the field. Drops down a bunt. It's a good one. Throw from third, not in time, and it's an RBI bunt base hit for Freddie Galvis. What a beauty. Hayes scores, and the Orioles go on top 2 0. So, two walks in the inning. One allowed by Pletko, now one by Scott. And the Mets have an engraved invitation, trailing 2 0, but now Conforto will be the go ahead man at the plate. Conforto lines one to center field for a base hit. Nito to third. He'll be waved around. The Mets are on the board. Michael Conforto with an RBI single, and it's 2-1. to one. Mets are a solo home run away from tying this game. Kevin Pillar right hand batter, the 1-0, the -oh, and there's one that's hit in the air to deep left field. Down the line, it might go. It's hooking. It is a home run. Home run for Pillar, and the Mets have tied the game. They're going to undoubtedly take another look at this. And it is. And this is going to be overturned. They don't even go to replay. Eighth pitch of the at back coming to Pillar. And he pulls one down to third and scoots on by Ruiz. And Pillar gets aboard. One man out. And now Dom Smith, who's got home run power. Valdez ready. The pitch hit high in the air to right center field. Hustling over is Hayes. He dives. He can't get it. The runner's held up. Now here comes Pilar around third. The relay throw to the plate. Not in time. He slides in safely. The throw gets away. Backed up by Valdez. His throw to third. Not in time. The R is at third. On at first. Dom Smith. He's got an RBI single that ties the game. And the winning run is 90 feet away with one man out. Can Mazika get VR in from third? 2-2. Two -two. And Mazika grounds one down to first. Coming home is Mancini. The slide. Save for the Mets. Win it. Mazika does it again. He drives home another winning run. The Mets rally for two in the bottom of the ninth, and they beat the Orioles 3-2. The king of the walk-off fielder's <laughs> choice, Patrick Mazika, loses another uniform top.